Hello, 90s lovers of YouTube. Welcome to my 90s dream bedroom, or what will become my 90s dream bedroom. My name is Nerdy Momo, but you can just call me Momo. I am a 90s baby who thrives on nostalgia and has been collecting nostalgic items for a few years now. My collection has gotten much larger than I ever anticipated, and because I collect so many other things, I needed somewhere for this stuff to go. Welcome, my 90s dream bedroom. Now, but the real way this channel came about is I was heavily collecting Rocket Power items, any Rocket Power thing I could get my hands on to build up my specific Rocket Power collection, along with everything else that's gonna be in this room. But while searching, I came across a Rocket Power themed bedspread for a twin mattress, and I was like, oh, that's super cool, I should get that, but then I was like, the heck would that go? I'm not gonna, I don't have, my bed's not a twin. I don't have anywhere for that to go. It would just be in the bag and I don't really want to get that necessarily for that purpose. But once I started looking into that, it made me think like, oh, I remember this dope Powerpuff Girls bedspread that I had when I was younger. I had all these plushies. I dressed up as bubbles for Halloween, all this stuff. I was super into Powerpuff Girls. Once I started thinking about that bedspread, I remembered that my mom had some of my old bedspreads from my childhood still saved in her linen closet. So I reached out to her and was like, do you have the Powerpuff Girls one? She was like, yeah, I do. Turns out she didn't, but that's okay. But thinking about that led me to thinking about, man, I wish I had somewhere to put this, like a room with a twin bed where I can make it up, like the one that I had when I was growing up. And then that just sparked my ideas to a whole bedroom full of things that I had when I was growing up, things I wish I had when I was growing up, and things that I frankly could never afford growing up. But I didn't have the space. But then like four months after having this idea, I ended up moving. Now we have this not so big, but appropriately sized room that is completely empty that we get to make up however we want and hopefully create the bedroom of my childhood dreams. So most items in this room will be actual items from the 90s or early 2000s, but a small selection of them will be 90s inspired. So they'll be 90s, early 2000s inspired, but they won't actually be products that came from back then. Just some stuff that I had already in my personal collection or that I've come across that I feel like would really work perfectly in here, but just aren't officially from the 90s. But don't worry, most stuff in here will be legitimately from the 90s, early 2000s. So you'll see lots of stuff from your childhood. So like I mentioned before, we are starting fresh. We are in this blank bedroom that we have here. There's nothing in here but some carpet stains, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, so anyways, ignore that. So we'll be building up from here, adding some furniture and just other quintessential things that should be in a 90s bedroom, along with some books, toys, movies, magazines, games, all sorts of stuff. Some of the items will be my own personal items from the 90s that m myself or my parents had saved for who knows how long for who knows what reason. Some items will be items that I had as a child but had gotten rid of, so I bought a new version of it or you know one that wasn't mine. And a lot of the stuff from this channel will be stuff I didn't even know existed as a child or stuff I knew existed, but like I said, we couldn't really afford and I'm okay with that because now I can and no one can tell me no. So the format of this channel will be your classic 90s cartoon. Each video will be its own episode dedicated to a specific season of my channel. The first half of the episode will be the main item that we're showing off and adding to this room. And then the second half will be a dip into my passion project, the Nerdtastic Book and Toy Fair. So as I said, my name is Nerdy Momo, so the book fair is Nerdtastic, like Scholastic, but we didn't want to get sued. Um, and this obviously is inspired by a book fair that we would all go to as kids. I often went with no money and I didn't like to read, but I love the book fair for some reason. I love seeing all the books, all the bright colors, all the collections, the pencils, the erasers, some of the little toys and stuff that they had. It was just amazing. I loved it so much. And I started watching someone a few years ago called Comfort Cartoon. Shout out to him and his channel. It's amazing. He has a huge Nickelodeon collection and it's amazing. Unfortunately, my ADHD kicks in when I'm watching him because 
I see something that he has and I'm like, whoa, that looks so awesome. Looks so amazing. I never heard of that. I must have it. So then I start searching, 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 buy. Man, and then during the pandemic, who uses shopping as a coping mechanism? And two of the main things that I loved that I saw on his channel were the Nickelodeon magazines, which I had totally forgot existed, but loved growing up, and the Nick Zone books that I didn't know existed, which are actually scholastic books. So I had to check those out and get a bunch of those, but I was struggling to figure out how I wanted to present them to an audience, and that's when I came up with the book fair. So the book fair works like a regular book fair. We have to have some money, momo dollars that we created um i have some different little me artwork that was made by an artist that i've used a lot on instagram mr collected so he made all these different images for different projects i had in the past and i use those images to create my own little money so each episode i'll get a specific amount of money that will be determined by throwing a dart at my dartboard and then that'll tell me how much i have to spend then i get to take that money and spend it at the book fair then we'll come back show you guys the items put them on display somewhere in the room. The channel is also largely inspired by so many other 90s nostalgic collectors. Some I follow, some I just stumble upon on Instagram. Um, some I've been following for a long time, like Splatgram. Um, so many people show so many different things I did not know existed and I love it. So hopefully I can be that person for you. Maybe you'll see something you didn't know existed and then you'll go out and buy it. Or you can just live vicariously through me and not spend all of your hard earned money on old stuff. But if all of that sounds good to you guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time a video goes live. But that's all for me. See you guys in season one.